hope everyone is doing well this morning. I want to talk about the energy of money. The energy of money. So if you followed me for... Maybe I need to do like a little introduction. So I'm Tanya Wilson. I am a Master Life and Business Coach. And I help women step into their personal power, scale their businesses, and create lifestyles they love. If this is your first time watching me, put first timer in the comments. If you're catching me on the replay, put hashtag replay. And if you've been around the camp for quite some time, put hashtag renew. And the last thing I'm going to ask in this moment is that you share. Share with someone else you feel will find value in our conversation for today. And let me make sure I got everything good here in the comment side because I can't always see them, but I would love to be able to respond to you as we have this conversation around the energy of money on today. So if you have followed me for quite some time, one of the things that I've shared with you for a number of years now is that regardless of whether you are aware, you have a brand. So even if you haven't intentionally set out to build your brand, maybe you've been doing some different things online and you haven't said, okay, I'm building a brand, you still have a brand, whether you are intentional about it or not. It's only when you become aware that you have a brand and then you become intentional about it and you get the right alignment for it that your brand begins to grow. So there are things that you can do once you're aware that you're actually building a brand that are more of an energetic match for the clients that you want to serve, the people who will find value in your products and your services. And much like the fact that you already have a brand, money has an energy regardless as well. So it may not be this thing that you're completely aware of, like the energy around money, but it does have it does have an energy. And I want to talk about three energies as it relates to money. And that first space of like energetic alignment for your money is actually your awareness. Now, I'm talking about energy and I want you guys to stay with me, um, which is not anything new to, to hear me talking about, but as money having energy and these three dynamics that I want to speak about, this will be the first time that I've talked about this live. So I have a friend who is um, educated in the area of science, so he went to school for science and I absolutely love my conversations with him. He's also a man of God, so we talk about spiritual things. And oftentimes, the way that my conversation comes across is more of the supernatural realm or um, the, the feminine side of it, the creativity. And what I love about our conversations is because he's able to bring like the scientific aspect. So I may talk about a thing. I may talk about a principle um, as a man thinks in his heart, for example. And he's able to share how scientifically those things are proven. And so one of the things that really made a huge difference for me is when we got on the conversation of energy and how energy is not created it's actually transferred so everything that you're doing in your brand is is transferring a specific type of energy I need you guys to stay with me right and because it's transferring the energy it's also attracting people who are who have similar energy as the energy that you are transmitting whether you know it or not right and so the subject of money having energy is what I want to talk to you about today and these different phases that people operate in and they may be doing it unintentionally so the first phase is awareness now when I think back on my own personal journey when I started out in entrepreneurship there were <clears throat> there was a season where 
you know, money was just flowing to me. And I always go back and, and reflect on my entrepreneurial journey to see like what was transpiring during this particular time. Now, the thing about it, so um, I was in a different industry. I was in the beauty and wellness industry. And I remember how quickly I created a clientele. I manifested like the best job at that time in the area that I was in um, to work with an amazing company. Uh, I landed my first job by the people actually coming to ask for me. So I didn't have to go and like search for a job. But what I realized is that there were some things going on with me energetically that were attracting higher opportunities to create more money for me that I didn't even know about, right? And it wasn't until I got in a space where things weren't going so well that I began to pay attention to when they were. So this may be your story. So maybe there was a season where you were doing really, really well. And then there was a season where, you know, life kind of happened and you may have found yourself in a space of lack or where things were not coming as smoothly and as effortlessly as they were before. Now, if you were not aware that you had a certain type of energy when it was just flowing and coming to you, there's a likelihood that what you will create during that time is actually more lack. What you will create during that time is actually more lack because this is what happens when we aren't aware. We start thinking about all the things that don't go right, that won't go right if we don't do this thing, if this doesn't happen for us, right? Um, we begin thinking about, we lose focus um, on even the goal to do something bigger because our focus is only on we can create for now you know maybe it would be um, paying a specific bill or, or just maintaining at a certain level and so what happens is that energy then begins to attract everything that's going to match with your thinking match with the energy that you're putting out into the atmosphere now I told you guys scientifically energy is not created it's transferred so it's being transferred from one place or one person to another. L let me tell you how you can think about it. So, and I've used this analogy before. When we think about a radio station, so we're, we're talking about the energy that happens when we aren't aware that we're operating in an energy of lack. It doesn't mean that money isn't available. Money is always available. It's abundant. It's unlimited. It doesn't mean that opportunities aren't available it doesn't mean that love isn't available right it's just that we're vibrating from a realm that is attracting more of the energy that we're putting out so when we think about and back to the analogy when we think about a radio station and the different frequencies so 104 point whatever right even if your radio state, even if you continue to turn your dial to reach that radio station and it doesn't pick up, it doesn't mean that the radio station is no longer on the air. I hope this is making sense. It's just that the radio station is operating at a frequency that you're not in a location to pick up on. Does that make sense? And if you notice, if you keep flipping the dial, if you're in a horrible location, every station that you turn to will not pick up a clear sound or um, you won't be able to hear a song or, or someone talking or speaking on it. It won't be clear no matter how many you turn while you're at that location. I hope this is making sense. This is much like the energy of money. So money does exist everywhere in the world it is unlimited but if you're operating from a frequency that cannot attract the money then it may appear to you from your situation that money is not available but it's all energy and this is one of the reasons you know some of my courses so I'm a master life and business coach 
And one of the reasons why I talk about inner work and healing is because I understand that doing inner work and healing, number one, changes your emotional intelligence. So that's going to be the process, the thought process that you use when you find challenging times. But also it changes your energy. Right. So when you do inner work, it changes the energy that you're operating on. So when we talk about this, this first energy, which is the space of awareness, like say for instance, for me, my career going really, really well, then I have a life circumstance to happen so well, I don't even realize it. I, I just don't think about lack. It's just happening. Things are just happening and moving forward. I don't know to think that things will happen any differently. And then something happens differently. And the thing is, I stay in that thing so long that all of my energy begins to change. And in order to come out of what I had to do to come out of that was to step into an awareness like a, a realm of wisdom about my money. Something that I really wasn't having to think about before because I was existing on the energy that was attracting abundance and money into my life. But now I'm in this uncomfortable position and I'm trying to figure out like what's going on. Why is this happening? Why do I feel stuck? I can't seem to get back to where I was before because before I, I wasn't intentional. It's just where I was resting at the time. Remember, I shared with you that whether you know it or not, you have a brand, whether you're being intentional about the brand that you're building or not. You have a brand. You have a way that you're being perceived by your audience, people online, people out in the world space, in the community. It's part of your brand, who you are, right? The the vibration that you have, the frequency that you're on, the energy that you're putting out into the world space. But when I get to this point where I'm like, okay, this isn't feeling well, something is off, that's when I begin to step into the awareness about as it relates to money and inside this space of awareness you'll find your money story you'll find your money story and your money story is mindsets that have been created as it relates to money so however you've seen money come into your life or the life uh, even more so of those who may have raised you or people that you've been in long-term connection with you know how money is coming into their life studies show that we're an average of the five people that we spend the most time with and our income range is usually tw either is relatively similar to theirs as well because that familiarity begins to create a story even around money you know how we approach money what we do to achieve money how hard we work for money or how hard we don't work to to get money all the mindsets and beliefs are housed in our money story and these are stories that are running through our mind as it relates to money and so anything that is connected to you earning money it, even things like building your business right um, I'm trying to see okay I'm not gonna get distracted even things like building your business will be based on the money story that you have will be based on uh, the different stories that may come up for you when you think about money if you've experienced some type of lack I shared with you guys that disruption that happened in my life I was connected to that particular environment for so long that my energy had changed and I had to go on a journey of awareness which meant I had to really go back and check my money story and when I checked my money story it was not what I was living at that particular time it was not the same and so I had to get to a place where I began to shift my beliefs so the second energy around money the first energy is an energy of awareness so you have to be aware like what is your money story what is the constant story that is, is embedded in your subconscious programming and you'll know somewhat of what that story is because you'll go back to a specific 
income realm. So there might be a range of income that you always get to before things start going backwards or things aren't going well or there'll be this income limit that you reach and you just can't seem to break past that. So you'll be able to kind of have an idea of parts of your money story because there will be like the ceiling on how you earn money or how much money you earn. Inside your money story are patterns. Are patterns. When you step into awareness, you can see your money patterns, the patterns that you have with money. Do you have large influxes of money and then plummet back down to where you were before? So I'm going to tell you another space of awareness that was really huge for me. I was working with a coach back in, I think, 2017 or 18 who talked about money in a very different way. And one of the things that happened during my time with her was my level of alignment. My level of alignment in possibility, in what I desired, in the way I was being, in the way I was speaking. Those were some of the things that transpired. And in that same year, I created my first ever mastermind. My highest product at that time had been $1,000 that I'd been selling in one of my coaching programs. And I increased my highest product to $6,000 just in a, in a moment's time. So we know we can raise our prices, right? You can go now on your website, change your prices. You can tell your clients your prices are different. But actually getting people to buy at that level requires something completely different. And when I, now mind you, the mastermind was something I had already created prior to this point. It was just sitting there. But I didn't have the energetics. I wasn't in alignment to even launch it. So I filled that program in a very short amount of time. I set my number. I filled it in a very short am amount of time. But what I understand is that it was my energy. It wasn't just because I said I was going to do it. It was an awareness of how I was thinking. And when you are thinking about the energetics of, of money and you know what you're wanting to create and do in the world, if you're coming from a place of lack, then you'll create more opportunities that show you more lack. Listen, you will create more opportunities that show you more lack. But if you're coming from a different space, so let's say one of the biggest questions is, well, how do I create money when I'm not in the realm where I have that money, right? It's, it's energy, it's energetics, it's what's going on on the inside of you and so oftentimes when people find themselves in a space of wanting to go to the next level and they don't have money then they attempt to create from a space of lack so they're thinking about all the things that could go wrong if they don't get this thing I hope this is making sense they think about all the things that could go wrong if this thing doesn't happen really quickly and so the energy that comes out is one of desperation or burnout where you actually get tired and just say never mind and then you go back to doing things the way that you had done it before now there's a different energy that is more settled and you've decided that i am going to do this let a lack energy and the decision that you've decided that this is what is going to be completely different energy and so although I wasn't in lack when I created the mastermind, moving from a $1,000 product to a 6 k product was a big deal for me. Now, it's, it's not a big deal for me anymore. I have 15 k programs, 30 k offers, but at that time, it was huge. Number one, I didn't know anyone that was charging that much in my circumference, but I did have the belief and the energy from my coach who was creating millions at that time and number two I was who gonna paint all the thoughts all of those things are limiting beliefs because it doesn't mean that those things don't exist I saw someone who has a million dollar coaching program right and I understand that energetically to ever be in a space to be able to have an offer that big 
I would have to be an energetic match for that. So your first step, the first type of money energy is awareness. It's the energy like I am aware, I'm, I see my limit, and you need this for every level. So whether you're going from 50K a year to your first 100K a year, if you're going to multiple six figures, if you're going to million, whatever it is, these three spaces have to be in place. You have to have a space of awareness. This is, what is my current money store? The next is, what limiting beliefs do I have about the next level? Is this making sense? How am I thinking? How am I being? How am I showing up? Now, one of the ways you can determine how you're showing up is this phrase. Well, it's not a phrase, actually. It's a book title. A girlfriend and I were on the phone about a decade ago. You know, I may be off of a year or two up or down on how long ago it's been. But we were sharing what book we were reading at the time, and she shared this book the way you do anything is the way you do everything. Now, I believe it's some things that we do a little different, but for the most part, the way we do most of the things that we do is the way that we do most of the things that we do. And so you, those are patterns. It will show up in your relationships and be in alignment with how you're earning money. I hope this is making sense. If you're organized in one area you're normally organized in another area the way you do one thing is the way you do everything and I won't go so far as to say everything but it definitely is the way that you do most things so if you have a, a fear of lack as it relates to relationships this is why I teach the inner working healing classes because I know whichever level my client is coming to me for whether it's relationships um, abundance mindset, personal growth, business building, when they begin to tap into changing their energy on one level, it's much easier for them to change it in another area of their life as well. I hope this is making sense. So that first one is awareness. This includes your money story, the patterns and things that you have at the level that you're at. The next um, energetic uh, principle would be the principle of practice. So now I share with you when I created this 6K offer, that was my first time, right? But I was, and, and listen, one of the reasons it happened so quickly, it wasn't about the amount of time. It wasn't like, okay, I've said this and then five years later, I was able to do this or a year from now, I was able to do this. It wasn't about the time. It was about the energetic alignment. So everything, my words, my thoughts, my actions, all were in alignment at the same time. It had no choice but to happen. I hope this makes sense to you all. Right? But what happened, because that was the first time me creating on that level, in order for me to do it again, I had to step into another money energy, and that's the energy of practice. I had to practice keeping my energy in that same space in order to continue attracting on that level. So the second phase is practice. This is, and, and listen, remember you can practice from a space of lack. You can practice lack thoughts and lack activities. You can practice that as well. But to get in the energy of practicing the understanding that you have about what you just created brings you to a, ne a new level of, of energy as it relates to money, getting clients, customers, all of those things. And then the last energy is trust. And what most people are missing is trust. And trust is when you are in the flow state of earning money. I'll take you back to the very early stages of my career where I was telling you guys things were just kind of happening. I wasn't aware about energy or any of those things. I just so happened to be resting in that. And so there was a level of trust. I wasn't thinking. I just knew it was going to work. I, I didn't even think, like, is this going to work? Because that was a knowing. It, it's part, it becomes a part of your being. It becomes a part of who you are. So there isn't, like, this thought at that particular energy level. There's a knowing. And so I'm sharing this with you because 
what most people are missing, depending on what stage you're at, but most people that I'm working with in this season are missing a level of trust to be able to get into that flow state. So maybe you create that high income goal for this month, but trying to duplicate it again because you, you were in energetic alignment at that time. This is making sense. So it didn't take years because everything was aligned. So maybe I was supporting them and holding space for them in that moment. Maybe they were borrowing my belief, the energy of the community, whatever it was, they were in alignment to be able to create that. And even though the strategies are there to do it again, if there wasn't enough practice to maintain that energy, then they will plummet back down or you'll plummet back down to where you were before. And so trust is what brings that flow state into your life. And so this morning, I want to ask you, what is your money story in this particular season? What are your thoughts around money? What are your beliefs as it relates to money? Money is energy. It is energy, guys. So much so, I have different exercises that I have my clients to do to practice being in the energy of money. Being in the energy of money. Because money is energy. And remember, it's not created. It's transferred. And so three energies as it relates to money. Awareness has an energy, right? Depending on you're more aware about what could possibly go wrong or the possibility of what's right. And if you can shift into the possibility of what's right, then you raise the um, problem of creating more income and then that next level is the level of practice you can practice from a space of lack and desperation you can create more of that you can practice from the space of possibility and then there's trust where you move into the the flow state of, of energy and one of the things that happened for me when I created that mastermind in 2018 I collapsed time remember I said it didn't take I created in a matter of months what would take people sometimes two years to create an income in normal circumstances. It was huge for me. And the thing about it is when you've created money from a space of ease and flow like that before, you can't unlearn it. You can't unexperience what you've experienced. Now, there are people who will create it and will not create it again because they don't know the energetics behind it. They don't know how to get in alignment with the right energetics. They don't know how to become aware of their money story or even their energy. Right. So there are people who will do that, but it won't happen again. And then there are those who have decided that they're going to practice. Right. Until they can move into the space of trust where it happens at a flow state. And then when they're ready for a, a new level, they go back and do the work of awareness and practice and trust. Because most people don't know that the, the thoughts of fear, your mind is your superpower. It's one of the wealthiest tools God has given us. And when you're having challenging times, the way you are being in those times creates your energy and so if you know I want to be in a space I want to get to the foundational space of awareness as it relates to my money story my money ceiling my limiting beliefs so that I can get into a new practice I have a course called money mindset masterclass it's a self-study course, so once you get it, you have unlimited access to it. Um, you download it, you can start immediately, but it walks you through stepping into abundance, the foundational principles of stepping into abundance, really taking a look at your current money beliefs, money mindset, limiting beliefs, 
that may be causing you to create the same circumstance over and over again when you're actually ready for the next level. And because you have lifetime access, you have an opportunity to practice. So there's a workbook that comes with it that you can take notes as I'm doing the class. It's a very casual um, but very impactful class. Um, I also teach the six things to do with a dollar inside that particular course as well. And then you get uh, a, a copy of my Limiting Beliefs Guide, which has some, some of the most prominent limiting beliefs and, and talking about shifting those limiting beliefs. I hope that you found value on this particular training this morning. My goal is to always bring a new level of awareness for you. For those of you who are doing inner work and healing, please know that even those things change your energy, right? It changes the space that you're vibrating on and the level that you're attracting, whether it's relationships or money or all, it changes all of those vibrations, right? And for every new thing that you want to experience, every place that you want to take your children, every big vision that you want to create, every new level of that, we know in this world space that we live in, it requires money. Now, let me tell you how much it requires money. Because even if you are attracting something that you, that someone gave you, that you didn't have to pay for, that person had to have money to get the thing to give you. Somewhere down the line, there was some type of connection as it related to money. Is this making sense to you all? <laughs> and so that's my take this morning on the energy of money, your awareness, your practice, and your trust. Your awareness your practice and your trust. For those of you who want to be supported more and you want to self-study and dive right in, uh, you can download the Money Mindset Masterclass. I will put the link somewhere. If you're on YouTube, it'll be in the descriptions as well as other ways for me to support you in coaching. If you're on YouTube, all of that will be in the descriptions. And if you see this video somewhere else, uh, how to access that Money Mindset Masterclass the foundational, like the root of it, right? To shift your money mindset and how you're attracting money and your energy around money. It'll be in the comments. You guys have a good one.